Hello again, my name is Joe. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. Check out some of the stuff I find today and some of the stuff I pass on as well uh, to resell on my eBay business. Thanks for watching. Okay, I just walked out of there with the model. I don't ever try and walk out empty handed. If I can find a $20 bill, I'm at least gonna find it. Um, this one should sell for $40 at least. The selfie rate is awesome. There was only one active and I think 20 something sold, so it should sell fast. Next stop is this pawn shop behind me. I was just here a few days ago, but this is one of the biggest stores in the area and they do move some volumes. So hopefully we can find something worth buying here. All right, I just walked out of the pawn shop. I only bought two things from that store, uh, but you know, sometimes it's more uh, about the potential profit that you can make than the quantity of items that you buy. Uh, it's always fun to buy a lot of items, but really I didn't need to buy a lot of items to make a lot of money today. Let me show you what I found. I did pick up the golf clubs. What a strange set. They're all six irons. Every single club in here is a six iron. I was able to get them down to $50 from the $60 they were asking, so pretty fair price. I only need to sell two or three clubs uh, to make my money back, and then the rest will be profit. But I mean, there's a ton of TaylorMades and Callaways um, and Mizunos. They all need cleaning. And like I said, how strange to find all six irons, but it should be profitable over time. The next thing I got is this SKF belt alignment tool. 
I have dealt with this equipment in the past. I've actually sold two pieces that used to belong to this Milton person. They both sold quickly and I made good money on both of them. This one had been sitting in the store since May 1st. It's the middle of September now. They were asking $800 for it, but I've decided to shoot them an offer of half and we were able to settle on 460, which put me right under $500 out the door after tax and all. I tested it, it works. So even at $500, it seems a little steep, but I will price it at $1,200. I expect it to sell quickly for that, and I should double my money. Nice, quick, and easy. It's very small, super easy, quick sale I'm hoping for. All right, I'm at another pawn shop, Cash America. Hopefully we can find something worth buying here. I was here maybe just a couple of weeks ago and um, didn't find nothing, so hopefully they got some new stuff. I'm at the next pawn shop. It's another Money Man pawn. I didn't find anything at the last couple of stores, but I'm gonna leave those in the video because I think it's important that you know you see the reseller reality. Not every store um, produces big money. Not every store produces any profit. So let's hope that this one does. All right, I'm at my last store of the day. The last Goodwill in my town. This one's kind of hit or miss. So we'll see what happens. walked out of that goodwill i did pick up the drum machine if nothing else my kids will just have a blast playing with this thing but there's nothing sold in the last 90 days there's one active they're asking 90 dollars including shipping and it doesn't have the pedals or the power supply so i'm thinking i should be able to get a more than a hundred dollars for it including shipping so i think we'll see an easy 60 70 dollars in profit on that one so not a bad pickup at all all right, walking up to the Habitat for Humanity Restore now. This is probably going to be my last stop for the day. Uh, so if I don't find anything, you probably won't see my ugly mug again. It was a really solid day overall. And I may combine this with tomorrow's video as well, because I think I'm going shopping tomorrow as well. We'll see. All right, so I didn't pick up anything at the Habitat for Humanity yesterday. And then when I got home from my little sourcing trip, I found all my packages that I had set up a porch pickup for were still sitting on my porch. Uh, so this morning I'm at the post office. I've got quite a few packages I've got to carry in and that's how I'm starting my day today. And then when I say quite a few, I mean my trunk is slap full. I'm gonna have to take probably three or four trips to get it all inside, but uh, not a tremendous amount of profit in here, but it was a long weekend with Labor Day, so I just have a lot of packages, and I just feel like my mail lady didn't uh, you know, feel like picking them up, and that's okay. It wasn't my regular mail lady. My normal mail lady's perfect. This one just uh, dropped the ball yesterday. Okay, I'm at the community thrift. I'm only gonna hit a few stores this morning because uh, I don't have a whole lot of time, but I just want to find enough stuff to keep me busy listing all week and I didn't find quite enough to do that yesterday so I'm just going to try and find a couple more things today. I didn't find anything at the thrift store I was just at. Next up I'm at a consignment shop. 
I think consignment stores are a little bit underrated in the reselling community. This one actually does a good bit of volume and I found a good bit of profits in here. So hopefully we can find something today. I just walked out of there with those two things. It was exactly what I was looking for. Let me show you what I got. First thing I got is this Dr. Seuss book. It's called If I Ran the Zoo. There are six or so of these that were discontinued a year, about a year ago, maybe a little less than that. And they have skyrocketed in value because they're not printing them anymore. I actually paid up for this one. I didn't realize it had a price on it, but they actually got me for 16 bucks on this book, uh, but that's okay. I think I can flip it for around 75. I'm not sure if eBay even allows this uh, anymore, so you may have to list on another platform if you come across any of them, but it's definitely worth looking out for the discontinued Dr. Seuss titles. And then I grabbed this bag. I really don't even know what these things are. What are these, Skylanders? I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you, but I do know some of them have a lot of value. I know there's some old characters, and for the $21 or so that I paid for them, I'm pretty sure we'll be okay, even if I have to lot them up and sell them. Uh, that way, I'm pretty sure we'll be okay either way. And, and hopefully there's a couple home runs. I see there's some older characters, so hopefully those ones have some value. Like the whole Toy Story sets in there. Uh, but we'll see. Not too bad. It'll uh, give me something to do this week.